Hello, hello and a very happy new year to my wonderful audience and I have a great news to share with you and the news is not like this. Drum rolls please. And the news is that we have achieved 1000 subscribers in the year 2020. So before we stepped into 2021, we completed 1000 subscribers and thanks to each one of you who showed their support and love and made this possible. And if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button and hit that bell icon and become a part of our family. Because I bring fresh and interesting content every week to enhance your style, behavior and confidence. in it for you today. Today's video is dedicated to all those people who have an emotional side overpowering their confident side. So a lot of times it happens that people say I don't feel confident, I don't have confidence at all but that's not true. In my previous videos I have talked about developing and building up your confidence but today I would like to say something more to it. So when people say that I don't have any confidence, that would not be entirely correct because confidence cannot be absent in any one of us. It is present, but it keeps depending on the situation. So in one situation, you may feel confident, very confident, but in another situation, you may not feel that confident. So you may feel a little underconfident. So I believe that in some people, confidence is flickering. So when I talk about a person who is confident in any situation, that person has a constant confidence in him or her. And when I talk about a person who is underconfident in maybe when he's performing or when he is there on stage or meeting new people, this person has a flickering confidence because this person may be very comfortable with his or her siblings and friends who are around him but not with people whom he's just met. So that's the difference. So today I will be talking about people who want to change their flickering confidence to a constant confidence in them. To help you understand better, I have picked up the character of Mike Cross from the famous American series Suits and it's also because I've been getting a lot of requests to cover Mike Cross's character and analyze it as most men find it more relatable. Harvey Specter's character is of course ideal, but there's something special about Mike Cross as well. So today I'm going to tell you five ways to be confident inspired by the character Mike Cross. Mike Cross is not ashamed of being emotional. Usually men think that being emotional and showing their emotional side is going to make them look vulnerable, which is not true. Mike Cross embraces his emotional and empathetic side and in some scenes we also see that Mike Cross shares his story of losing his parents in a car accident because this way he makes people understand that he is capable of understanding their emotions because he has also experienced something sad in his life. Your son, you lost him and you needed an outlet and that's what this company is to you now, your family. I told you I'm not selling. I lost both my parents when I was 11 years old. So I know a little something about needing family. Walter, I can't guarantee you will win, but I can guarantee you that I will never sell you out. All right, I'm in. This is the opposite of what Harvey Specter thinks about being emotional. As per Harvey Specter, emotions make you weak, relations make you weak, showing concern makes you weak, caring makes you weak. Caring only makes you weak. They think you care, they'll walk all over you. As I said before, Harvey Specter is an idol character. However, in real life, it's very difficult to find people sans emotions. 
So emotions are there. After all, we are all humans. We are not only made up of flesh and bones, but also emotions. So it is good to accept our emotional side, embrace it, and be confident about the fact that, okay, I have emotions. Another thing that makes Mike Cross confident is his ability to observe well. Thinking about going for a swim. Are the pool facilities here nice? Of course, sir. It's the Chilton Hotel, best in the city. Why is the pool closed? And uh, do you have the time? Oh, yes. it's uh, 10 o'clock. Now, most of us don't have a photographic memory like Mike Ross. However, we can develop the skill of observation through practice. Try to read them. These little cues may be instrumental in putting you at an advantageous position than you would be otherwise. The third thing that makes Mike confident about himself is his frankness. Mike Ross is vocal about his feelings. He doesn't keep his thoughts to himself. And every day that it drags on, it's costing your company more money. What I'm talking about is giving Myra Harrison a crumb of a crumb. So stop worrying about what it sounds like and start writing a check. How much is it going to cost? That's what I want to hear. Mike Cross respects others and himself. He doesn't let anyone take over him. Harvey, do you want to spend all night asking me exactly what I did or did not do, or do you want to help me right or wrong? Expose you? For what? I never wrote a letter like that. I'm not recording you. This letter was printed from your hard drive, which has your computer's digital signature. If I talk about real life situations, there might have been instances where you found it difficult to say no to people, or if someone showed disrespect to you, you couldn't reply back, or if your boss uh, was seeking some opinion uh, from you, then you weren't able to reply either because you were hesitant. So remember that Keeping your thoughts to yourself doesn't make you confident. If you want to be confident, if you want to show your confidence to people, and if you also want to feel that confidence, you will have to be frank. So whatever comes to your mind, whatever thoughts you have, please share it with people. Asking questions also help you understand the other person's perspective. And if they're having some notions about you, then that can also be clarified. So tell me in the comments below if you've had a situation like that where you were hesitant in sharing your thoughts with your boss or someone else, or you were unable to reply to someone because you were scared of doing that. Let me know in the comments below. Point number four is the basis of point number three that I just shared. His frankness is all about being confident about his work because he knows that nobody can question his work. He is thorough with his performance. He leaves no stone unturned. He knows it well that he gives his best to each and every case he handles. How do you know that? I told you, I do my homework. So remember, if you want to keep your confidence constant, then you will have to be sure of what you're doing. Do it thoroughly, finish it properly, don't leave anything behind undone. Mike, seriously, I thought you were busy with that pro bono. I am. Donna said you needed my help, so I gave it to you. Thanks, Robin. Oh, uh, you're welcome, Batman. to people to talk negatively about your work. Do it with perfection. The fifth thing that makes Mike Cross confident is his body language. So he keeps a constant eye contact with people whom he's speaking with. You will see that these three characters, Harvey Specter, Jessica Pearson, and Mike Cross, they have a very positive body language. They don't slouch, they keep their shoulders straight, they maintain an eye contact, and that's how they look more confident. Also, there is a similarity between Jessica Pearson and Mike Cross uh, that I have observed. Both of them, they close their harshest messages with a smile. A copy of the letter you wrote to the district attorney when you threatened to expose me. The smile may be fake, but this shows that they are in control of themselves and they're sure of what they are doing. 
This letter was printed from your hard drive, which has your computer's digital signature. That's all for today. If you've enjoyed watching the video and you found it helpful, then do give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by hitting the bell icon as well. Here's the next video for you, how to be commanding and confident like a boss. So go check it out and I shall see you next week with another video. Till then you take care. Bye-bye.